think I'm taking the land girl look a little bit too far. <laughs> Voluminous amounts of fabric on me. I don't do myself any favours with the way I dress. Right, I've got about five minutes before I need to stir a pot, I'm cooking supper. You can possibly hear it bubbling on the old filthy aga over there. Tonight we have got turnips pasta. So my friend Turnip, who I talk about all the time, um, she, when we went to France together, oh, itchy nose perpetually at this time of year. When we went to France together about two years ago skiing, um, she arrived with a call bag full of yummy pre-made food that she'd done at home to bring. And um, this sausage pasta dish went down an absolute treat with the boys. And I said, oh, I must take this recipe from you. And she said, okay, no, it's so easy. It's not even a recipe. I'm embarrassed to even Never work with kids or animals. Kids or children, I was about to say then. Ah. Shush! Come here. So she said, I'm embarrassed to even tell you what it is. Um, it is literally the best quality sausages you can get your hands on. Squeeze them out of their skins. Um, cook them in and break them all up in a frying pan. Add a tin of tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, plum tomatoes, the nicest ones you can get, not, not the ones that are full of skin and green bits. Um, and then a couple of leaves of sage and some pasta. So that's what we've got tonight. So that's just doing its thing. Flavour infusing, if you will. Feeling really smug because Picking herbs out of my garden just gives me a buzz. It, is, it blows my mind. I remember when, when I was quite young, probably 19, maybe 20, I got into growing herbs in a big way. I just liked growing them. I, and I had a book about what, how to cook with them and beauty products to make with them. And I never did any of that. I just grew the herbs. I don't think I ate a single leaf. <laughs> I just enjoyed growing the herbs. Um, but now I enjoy growing the herbs and, that's Bill, and eating the herbs. So yeah, well and truly in the smug zone. And I have been able to pick enough lettuce, salad leaves, for Toby and I to have a decent sized salad with the um, bio snacky sprouted seeds that I did a couple of weeks ago. It's been a funny day. Um, we, we didn't do Joe Wicks this morning. We got up and we did this thing called Strong 30. <laughs> oh, if I remember, I'll put the link down below because it was so good it was so much fun loads of punching uppercuts round kicks box kicks and um jumping about it was 20 minutes of proper strength cardio and then five minutes either end of warming up and cooling down it was really good i was ready for something like that because um joe wicks love the guy but my knees don't love him it's been a lot of squats and lunges the last two weeks and um i just needed something a little bit more music and bouncy and just just a bit more dancey so i found this because i was looking for a zumba type workout um this wasn't what i was looking for but it was good strong 30 it was good and she does it so that you can you can do it like the regular way or you can do it the adjusted way if you're slightly weaker or if you're super fit and strong you can do it the 
other modified way. No, not for me. I've been out in the greenhouse pricking out my pansies, my edible pansies. Most pansies, all pansies and violas are edible, I believe. <clears throat> but these ones are particularly tasty and particularly pretty on one's salad. So I've been doing that. I'm all about the food. And um, Wilf tried, Wilf was supposed to have a saxophone lesson today at 1.30, but the saxophone teacher's internet failed entirely, literally just crashed. So it, um, we're doing it tomorrow. Um, what else? Um, um, what else has happened today? It's felt like one of those sort of funny days where you fly from one thing to the other and, not, and you're kind of catching your, chasing your tail and you never really quite catch up. There are lots of jobs on the jobs list that have not been attended to, but they'll roll over to another day. And um, that's about that. It has been another slow news day. I've really got very little to share. And um, I haven't even published yesterday's vlog yet. That's gonna go up in a second. I'm gonna, oh, the Wi-Fi here is so incredibly slow. I'm gonna have to do it with my mobile data, which I'm pretty sure is about to conk out and um, stick my phone in the window, hope for the best. But I um, apologise for that because some of you I know, you've, <laughs> I, I love this, you've woven my vlogs into your routine. You, some of you um, get up, let your dogs out, have a coffee, settle in and watch my vlog. Um, some of you put the children to bed, eat your supper and then settle in to watch my vlog. And depending on where you are in the world and when I upload my video depends on whether there is a new vlog there for you when you need it to be there. So I'm, <laughs> I hate it when I break my schedule. I usually try to have it up by three o'clock. British summertime, but this past week it's been erratic. I've had some internet issues, I've had some iMovie issues, some YouTube issues, I've just had some, oh my goodness, I've forgotten <laughs> issues, like yesterday. I um, had it all uploaded and everything by about six o'clock and then I forgot to do the thumbnail and forgot to um, hit publish. War Wally. War Wally. This one's going to the vets tomorrow. She's got a problem with her back end. It's a poodle thing. Hope they don't laugh at your haircut. You're so lovely. Right. I may or may not see you later. Gina, Rosy Ball Designs, who sent me the lovely um, project bag and DPN cosy that was raffled off at Christmas when we raised so much money for Bill's school. Wanted to know a bit more about this blanket. So going to show you it but Margot is being a bit of a nuisance <laughs> honestly right here we go it's the springtime throw by Nikki Trench and the pattern was in I think Prima magazine as a preview of the book and I think the book was called Gifts Easy gifts? Or... No, I can't think. But um, 
this stop licking so this was the um this was the springtime throw it's a lovely little pattern look you can see it's basically a granny square and then it's edged with the double crochet all the way around so these are trebles trebles edged with the double crochet and then when you join it you edge it with um double crochet single crochet if you are more partial to us terms i first saw this on coco rose diaries vlog no blog and i was instantly smitten as i have always been with everything i've ever seen of vanessa's hello ness um ever since she ever since i i discovered her she did a different edging on hers i did this edging which is really damaged in one point because in one place because wilfred used to love sitting in a chair and cutting things with scissors i used to give him scraps of fabric and i hadn't realized one day that he had he cut this so it's all made up out of commercial yarn it's probably all debbie bliss and rowan it's all looks like a dk and i literally just made whatever i fancied however i fancied whenever i fancied for about 18 months sorry bunny's barking for about 18 months but look you can see when i stitched it together i paid absolutely no attention to what was going where look at those six squares all with exactly the same blue in the middle <laughs> and exactly the same blue there and two of exactly the same pinks there i think i think that i was better with choosing the outsides but yeah even there look i've got the same green same pink gosh that's faded that's a you can't tell there but that's a lemon that's really faded I've done several crochet blankets and I think, yeah, this is the only one that I've kept. I've given all of the others away. Julie has got a, a granny rectangle. I just kept going round and round and round. She's got that one. And Kerry has got a cotton blanket made out of Rico cotton that I called it my nemesis because it was just a beast. Um, and also she's got my very first granny square blanket. I just went off them. I'm an absolute nightmare for going off things and for my style and my taste to change. It's, I've mentioned a few times now over the last couple of years, things have been shifting and changing. It's a good job. I don't have enough time or enough money to just change everything whenever I fancy it because I would actually struggle. What are you doing? Toby just came in. So I would, I'm a, I'm a pain in the bum because I make no sense. I would struggle with the change because I'm not good with change. However, my tastes do flitter and change quite a lot. But luckily, I can't really do anything practical about that. So I can't upset myself by making changes that I would be uncomfortable about <laughs> does that even make sense <laughs> it does make me very very difficult to buy for because it was not so long ago that I was 
heavily into kitsch and uh, vintage florals. And now I'm just not, not bothered at all, she says, wearing a head scarf. Oh, I don't even know myself. <laughs> Oh well. So there we go, there's my throw and um, I'm going to go and wash my face, put on my pyjamas and settle in to do some knitting but I am still suffering with my elbow and I knocked it earlier on and that was incredibly painful. So I think sewing tonight, not knitting because although this is from gardening, I think knitting is exacerbating it. Exacerbating it. Exasperating it. Exacerbating it. Exacerbating it. It's Star Wars Day today. May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> that is the best date to have a birthday on, isn't it? To be born on Star Wars Day. Um, happy birthday, Naomi, because I know that um, she was fortunate enough to be born on Star Wars Day. Right, off I go. And tomorrow we'll, I will commence on the big tidy up of this room. Oh, that's Resilience. Oi. <laughs> don't need that. I don't need that dandelion. <laughs>